So one of my favorite things to do with the Cricut pens now is to address my envelopes with them, especially if I'm doing a custom card. So to do this, I'm going to get a square and unlock it. And the envelope I'm using right now is five by three and a half inches. And I'm going to make this white just so we can see better. Okay, and I'm going to align it all the way to the zero, zero mark because that's where I want to place my envelopes. I was doing multiple envelopes, so I was trying to conserve space earlier. So this is how I'm doing it. And the other one will be at the zero and the four inch mark. There we go. And then it's so easy, you just add your text. So we're gonna do the return address first. I'm just gonna make up something. Angie Crafts at one, two, three. Crafty Lane, and I'm in Honolulu. Okay, so I'm just gonna resize this, and it might be easier to show on the bottom envelope. It's maybe a 12 point, maybe 14. See the font I want to use, I'm going to filter with writing font and I want something not too crazy because you want it to go through the mail but also something nice that's not totally handwritten. I'm going to use that point four black pen. And I'm just gonna duplicate this and put it in the left corner on the top envelope. It is a little hard when you go all the way to the top because of that font thing, but it's okay. So we're gonna do the addresses now. I'm just gonna make up something else. My friend at one two three friendly way. Okay, we'll just resize this. <clears throat> and I'm gonna center it just for fun. Let's do the bottom. I'll make this my other friend. I'm just going to select the corner and the address and we're going to center horizontally and vertically and I'm doing that because it can only center two things so if I had the other address to return it wouldn't do it and you can eyeball it too but this just makes it a little easier Double checking everything. And I'm gonna select the whole thing and attach. And I'm gonna hide the envelopes because we don't want to cut the envelopes. We don't want any cutting at all. Just pen. Okay, so it's this pen. So that's good. Everything looks good. I'm gonna put the envelopes on the mat just like the way that I had it in Cricut Design Space. So I turn my Cricut Maker on and I'm gonna grab my standard grip mat and my two envelopes. So I'm just gonna remeasure just to make sure and also double check that the right side is up. And I'm just gonna align it like how I did it in Cricut Design Space. 
you can put it at any where you want like at any point but I just have it at the 0x0 zero zero and the 0x4 zero marks then I'm gonna take my prayer and make sure that it's really stuck on there click continue and for the material I'm just gonna do copy paper 20 pounds and I just realized I have black and midnight pen in there but it won't matter we're just gonna use the black pen for both and then when you insert the mat just make sure that it's all the way in before pressing the arrow buttons I'm gonna use this 0.4 fine tip pen this is probably my most used pen of all Put it in slot A, click it down, and it's ready to go. So one thing to know is that I forgot to change all of the pen inks to black, and so there's black and midnight blue, but really that, that won't matter. So the return addresses will be in black, and then it's going to prompt me to change the midnight blue pen. but. I'm just going to leave the black pen in and hit the cook it button when the time comes. I'm going to fast forward through this area so you can see the final part. So the envelopes are done and they look so good. I really like this font because it goes over each line twice, making it a very bold and opaque line. I'm going to put the cap back on the pen so I don't forget. And when I remove the envelopes, I'm going to peel the mat back from the paper. This prevents curling and just be gentle. If I had a, like a hundred envelopes to do, I would probably do a print and cut label. But if I just have a few, nothing really beats this really nice, almost handwritten, but nicer addressing. And I just love the Cricut pens and everything you can do with them. Um, if you learned something or like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you next week.